in our last two episodes. We have made our own homemade glue to paste photos, labels and posters. And we have reviewed how to use it for both outdoors and indoors applications. Answer today some glue questions. To keep the glue the longest, store it in a closed container, as this will prevent the water from evaporating. Place also the container in the fridge, as this will slow down the aging process. If you follow those two rules, you can keep the glue for about one week. Past that duration, the glue will start deteriorating, as the wet flour activates amylase enzymes that break down starches into sugars. The glue will become a lot more watery with possible formation of exotic molds. For indoor applications, it will stay there until you remove it. For outdoor applications, it will depend on a few things. It will depend on the cleanliness of the support it was pasted on. On the quality of the paper. On whether the paste is exposed to rain or wind or both. On whether cleaners are active and zealous. Etc. For this alien project. This is how this paste originally looked like. And this is how it looked almost two years later. Note that this is not the glue that gave up, but the paper itself under the attacks of the burning sun, the heavy rains, the urinating farmers and of those creepy crawlies that feast on paper. I have discovered that snails and slugs seem to love paper, and can make complete posters disappear. Let's verify this with the paper label we pasted on our glass, last time. Let's see what happens after it has spent 5 minutes underwater. Yep, still holds. Leave it dry again, and you are good to go. There again, let's deep our glass a couple of minutes in water. And if you want to remove the label, simply peel it off. Clean with a brush any glue left over. And the label is gone. As a last test, I will put our paste of the young boy on his wooden horse outside. That will give us an opportunity to monitor how this paste will evolve over time.